Today we're going to be making the legendary game Pong and I added a little bit of flair to it so stick around for the video. Hey what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have probably my favorite tutorial I've ever made. We're going to be making a video game today and not just any video game, we're going to be making Pong, one of the most legendary games ever created. Pong is a simple virtual recreation of ping pong, and it was originally developed by Atari in 1972. Pong was one of the first commercially successful video games, and it has had an immense cultural impact. Plus, it's just super cool and definitely a fun coding project. We're going to learn some cool stuff today, so stick around for the video. We're going to have some fun. All right, guys, here we are, and we are ready to make Pong. So go ahead and create a new project. We're going to be making a Windows Forms app, and go ahead and call it whatever you want. All right, so once we're in the app, there's a few changes that we want to make. So go ahead and bring this, uh, expand it a little bit. Let's just make sure that we can see everything nicely and we're going to just click on our form here and adjust a few properties. Change the text from Form 1 to Pong and then scroll to the top at the name and instead of Form 1 we're going to be calling it, well, Pong. Alright, and now that we have that out of the way, you want to double click on your form so that creates a load method in the back end and we're going to be using that later. But for now we just need to create it and then go back to our interface. Alright guys, the next part is we're going to actually use a background that I'm providing and an icon file that I'm also providing. You can use your own if you want, but I made some for this app specifically and I think they're pretty cool, so we're going to use them. For your icon file, click icon and click the little three dots and this will allow you to import a new resource. Alright guys, you'll notice that we imported our file now and in the top left of the screen, we see a little tiny icon now. And the next thing we want to do is go ahead and click a background image and click the three dots there and import a local resource there as well. Alright guys, you'll notice that the, the image is a little bit... Um, out of place and we need to fit it inside the constraints of the interface so click on background image layout and instead of tile go ahead and click stretch that's going to compress it down and, and just make it inside of the interface so we can see the whole thing all right guys the next thing that we're going to need is let's create our paddles and our uh, ping pong ball so i'm going to go up to the left side here and we're going to drag some stuff onto the screen we're going to need three picture boxes but first let's just start with one and let's just make this the left paddle which is going to be the player's paddle like us so we're going to just make it kind of tall and a little bit thin like a paddle would be and probably a little shorter than this so it's, it's a little bit hard. And once you have like a size that you'd like and I think this is a pretty good size we can go ahead and just drag it into the kind of the center of the screen over here on the left side. Click on here and we're going to adjust some of these properties as well. So let's just first choose a cool back color for it. We could choose any color we'd like. I'm just going to say, let's just make it orange, just because. And then we're going to change the actual name of it. So instead of picture box one, we're going to call it player one. Copy this and paste another one. And then directly across from it and try to keep these lines. That way you know they're exactly even with each other. Uh, go ahead and change the color on this one to whatever you'd like. I'm just going to make it like green. And instead of picture box one, this is going to be CPU player. All right, guys, we have our two paddles. And now we just need to add our ball. So we need, once again, a third picture box and kind of put that in the middle somewhere. And then we're going to make that real small to kind of look like a ball. So the size that I currently have here, and you don't have to match a size, but this is 28 by 28. And I think that's a pretty good size for a ball. So let's go ahead and leave it as that. And we're going to literally just call it Pong Ball. And then here for this picture box, since... We actually are going to make images for it because it's a, it's a meme. We're going to be able to add a menu where you select your character and it changes the ball. For our initial image, scroll down to image and click the three dots and we're going to import an image to set as the ball. <laughs> I'm going to start off with this absolute classic and it's going to be the forever alone one and we can click open and then click OK. And you'll notice it won't be able to fit it all in there so we have to go down to where it says size mode change that from normal to stretch image and now if you look real closely the forever alone face is crunched down inside of that tiny little box all right guys the next thing that we need is we're going to need one other picture box and two labels um, those two labels are going to keep track of our score as the player and the other person's score as the computer and then we're going to have like a nice cool little logo at the top to say like meme pong okay so first let's start with the meme pong logo and just drag a picture box at the top of the screen Try to center it as best you can. And then just make it a little bit larger, kind of like this. And put it in the center screen, like I said before. And instead of the back color being white, make it transparent. And that should be at the very top here. So it'll be invisible. And then we're going to change the background image to the one that I have provided for you guys. It's going to look like this. It says Meme Pong logo with a transparent background. We're going to click OK. We imported it. And once again, we have to change our image layout from tile stretch that way it crunches it down in here 
and it looks a little bit crunched so i'm just going to make it a little bit bigger here here's one important thing to note is go ahead and right click on this and click send to back and that's going to make sure that if like the ping pong ball crosses over it um it won't be hidden behind it and if it does it's not the end of the world but i think it'd be nicer if we could see the ball at all times so we have like our little logo here now let's just add two labels to keep score for each person so go to the left here, drag a label onto the screen, and we're going to adjust some of these properties first. Player score is the name. We're going to change the text property to zero, because that's what you start out as. We're going to set auto size to false. The size I currently have on the screen here is 35 by 33, but let me just match that up so it's perfect square. So 35 by 35. We're going to change the font in here from the sans serif default you guys can change it to whatever you want i just like this font up here it's called cascadia mono and i like the regular uh property and let's make it like size 18 that way it's easy to see the actual number and then let's go ahead and change the four color which is the font color from black and let's change it to something fun we're on the good team right we're the player so blue is like usually a pretty good color for that so let's just do like deep sky blue over on our end and then let's make sure to text align in the very middle middle. So make sure it says middle center. And then also we're going to change the back color from that to transparent, which is at the very top. Once we have that out of the way, and actually let's make our font a little bit bigger. Sorry about that. Instead of 18, let's like try to make it like, I don't know, size 28. So it's very easy to see. We're gonna make our box even bigger than before. Just kind of keep it in the middle here. Mine is size 28 font. Now the box is now size 49 by 54. And we're gonna change it to, let's say 55 by 55. That way it's a perfect square. So we have it right in the middle and try to center in the middle of the logo there. And then we're literally just gonna copy this, paste another one, put it right on the other side here. And then instead of a uh, blue color for the CPU score. We're going to change it to like red and we're going to call this CPU score and we're also going to leave it as zero. So here we are. We have our like initial first interface set up, which is awesome. And we still need to set up the second form. So the second form is going to be our character selection screen. And I didn't show this at the beginning of the video, but it looks pretty cool. And if you want to add a new form, which we need to do, go to your solution explorer in the top right of the screen. Right click on your project and then you're going to scroll down to add and then you're going to say new item and in here you want to select form and windows forms click add so this is going to add a brand new form and then we're, let's change some things over here as well so let's make sure the icons match for both interfaces so let's import our same icon that we used on the other one which looks like this so let's go ahead and click open then over here we're going to change it from form 2 to character form and then we're also going to scroll down and change the text from 4 to choose a character. And we're going to change the background on this particular form to something pretty fun. Let's just choose like this nice, like lighter bluish color. And then we're going to um, add four picture boxes and a label. The reason for this is that we have four individual um, characters that we could choose from and then we just have a label to like kind of tell the user what to do so let's start with the label first of all let's make it pretty large so we're gonna just there's not really much point in naming naming this label because we're not going to use it in the code but we might as well just to keep things consistent we're just going to call this one title label and auto size is going to be false and we're going to make it pretty large like i said before and let's just have it like up here kind of in the middle and then we're going to change the text to click a character and we're going to align the text on middle middle and then we're going to change the font size to the same stuff as before so we keep it consistent cascadia mono and let's make it pretty large we're going to say like size 36 maybe that way we can click a character and the user just can really see it right all right now we need to show our characters and you know have uh, add some functionality to it go ahead and drag a picture box on the screen and we're going to make it kind of like a perfect square. It should be roughly like this size. And let's go check the dimensions. This is 163 by 153. Let's just make it 160 by 160. So this one is going to be our troll face character. So I'm going to call it troll face character. And then we're going to import our image for it. So we imported our image. And once again, you need to make sure to change the size mode from normal to stretch image. So it puts it in the box. All right, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and just click copy, paste, 
And we're, we're going to need roughly four of these. And once you have all four, you can just kind of highlight them or you could press, you can click on one and hold shift and you could select all of them. And just try to center it as best you can. And then obviously we need to change the names and the pictures on the other three. So here we'll start with number two. This one's going to be our mother of God meme. So we're going to just call this Mog character. And then we're going to change the image on this one to our mother of God meme. Click OK. We're going to go over here to this one. This one's going to be our uh, no character. And we're going to change this here to the guy that says no. He looks like he's having a great time. And then finally, we're going to have our forever loan picture over here. So go ahead and change it to forever alone and then we're going to rename this one as well so forever alone character so now that we have that set up we just need to add some functions to our code so go ahead and click on one of the picture boxes and double click it it's going to create a new click method in the back end and and once they actually click on the character we want to set the character on the other screen to that so the the pong ball changes but we're going to get into that into the next video for now we're just going to lay out stuff so go click on your other one double click him Double click this guy and double click the final one. So you need to make sure you have four click methods for each picture box. And feel free to even add more picture boxes if you want and add more uh, things to it or change the images. You could do whatever you'd like. All right, guys, there's one more thing that we need to change here. So go back to your original form and we're just going to make sure that the user can't really size it. We're just going to want to keep it the size. I thought about doing the automatic like sizing stuff that I've showed in other videos, but um, for now, we're just going to keep it simple as possible and just not even let the user size it. So, so click on your main form and go to the properties in the bottom right. Click form border style and we're going to change that from sizable to fixed single. And this will uh, ban the user from being able to actually size it. And then we're going to do the same thing on our other form. So make sure form border style over here is fixed single. And also we're going to keep this exact same size that we have here. That way that when we launch it, um, they can't really make it bigger or smaller. Nothing gets messed up. So it looks kind of like this. And that's a pretty good size for uh, a Pong game, right? So we just want to copy that size that we have. So let's go find it. So we have our sizes 1069 by 687. So copy those two numbers. And in the maximum size field, paste that and click enter. And in the minimum size field, uh, paste that and click enter again. And that's going to do that. Now our Pong game is set up and you'll notice that I can't size the form. And like I could do this, but it won't actually listen and it just puts it up in the left side of the screen. And that's what we want. Do the same thing for form two. So go ahead and click on the form as a whole. Make sure to go down and copy the size. So this one's 816 by 489. We're gonna just paste that at maximum size, click enter and minimum size and click enter. I know it messes up a little bit here with the interface and I don't really understand why it did that, but when you actually do click start, it does look normal, which is good. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this first part of the tutorial. The next video is where we're going to add all our functionality and make a fully fledged, awesome working game. And then I even plan to have a part three of the series. We're going to just add a bunch of fun features. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. Um, ask me any questions down below if you'd like. Thank you guys for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Comment down below any thoughts or suggestions for the next video. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.